Hey, what's going on, YouTubers and YouTubettes? Uh, it's your buddy Jex coming at you, and I'm actually in a room you don't often see. It's my bedroom. <laughs> it's my Yoda blanket right here. Uh, got my stereo over there. Uh, got my TV, VCR, DVD combo. Yeah. So this is kind of like my chill pad. Uh, and the reason I'm making this video, I want to show off my vinyl collection. Because that's, uh, vinyl records are something else I collect aside from VHS and DVD. don't have very, very much, but I'm still proud of my collection. Um, so yeah, I had a few people asking me what I had. So I'm going to show you uh, the highlights of my collection. Not the whole thing, but just like the best of the best. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to switch angles and um, gonna put these on my Yoda blankets. So it'll be easier to show off. And uh, so yeah, let's get to it. Okay, here we go. Uh, my vinyl collection. I'm going to try to go through it rather quickly, so let's get started. Starting with my Ted Nugent. Uh, I love Ted Nugent, uh, great guitar player. So, this is Weekend Warriors. Uh, great, great uh, artwork. Starts off as a guitar and rah, da, 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 ends up as a machine gun. Yeah. Uh, next up, Scream Dream. It's still Nugent, so it's still great. Uh, Cat Scratch Fever. Uh, it's a great fold-out uh, cover here. See that? Cat Scratch Fever. Um, State of Shock. This is a great uh, double album. Double Live Gonzo. Uh, it's a two-record set. That's, that's one thing I love about vinyl records. It's just the, the artwork and the, the packaging is just... Really great, you know. Just a nostalgic feel, I guess. It's just it's fun to look at. Kiss. Uh, this is the first album, self-titled. Uh, got this cheap. I think I paid a dollar for it, but it, you probably can't tell too much. But the uh, packaging has a lot of wear. Uh, looks like whoever had it before traced it with a pen or pencil. I can't even tell. But yeah, the faces are all messed up on here. So yeah, but um. Plays great, so for a dollar, hell, couldn't pass that up. Uh, Love Gun, great album, uh, probably one of my favorite Kiss albums, uh, alongside uh, Destroyer. Yeah, love that. Dynasty, when they started going a little disco. But I still like the album, it's got some good tunes on it. Next up, metal band Crocus, this is Metal Rendezvous. Uh, Crocus is pretty cool. I don't listen to them too often, but uh, they got a good sound. Uh, they kind of remind me in some ways of ACDC every now and then. Kind of have an ACDC sound to it. Hardware by Crocus, once again. <laughs> Take a good look at this picture. If you can see, it always makes me laugh. They're all like, yeah, we're so badass. And then this guy's like, yeah, all giggling. <laughs> like, okay. Someone didn't rehearse for the picture. <laughs> uh, this is at Krogus once again. Headhunter. This has really cool artwork. Uh, moving right along. Got Lemmy's band, Motorhead. Uh, another perfect day. I haven't listened to this album in a while, but I remember it being pretty cool. Actually, the only Motorhead I ever found on vinyl, so I had to pick it up. Six bucks I paid for it. Not too bad. From 1983. ACDC. Back in black. Had to pick this one up. I also paid just a dollar for, for this one, but it's um, not in the best condition. Fairly scratched. You can even tell on cam. Pretty scratched. Um, it even skips, but uh, I have the album on CD. I just needed to, you know, for a dollar, vinyl. It's cool to have just just to show off, you know. Back in Black, 1980, uh, Brian Johnson's first album, if I'm not mistaken. This is cool, man. I never stumble upon this ever again. I'm glad to have found it. Twisted Sister, come out and play. I'm gonna check this out. It's D Snyder, motherfucker. Thought that was super awesome. Uh, yeah, that wasn't, that wasn't my best D Snyder impression, but come on, give me a break. <laughs> so yeah, come out and play. A uh, really good album. Uh, it's got a few popular songs on there. Be Cruel to Your School. Uh, Kill or Be Killed. Uh, 
I believe in rock and roll, I believe in you. But uh, what's really cool about this is that the first, the opening track is, of course, Come Out and Play. And um, it starts out, you just hear like, click, clink, click, clink, twisted sister, come out and play, yay! So I thought that was really cool, kind of like a tribute to the Warriors. So yeah, so, let me just bring my other records here. Alright, are you ready? Yep. Kilroy was here. This is the album that has Mr. Roboto on it, which is the main reason I bought it. Let's try to avoid the glare. So yeah. Really great album. Uh, has a great song in it that I just love called uh, Heavy Metal Poisoning. Yeah. Great song. Great song, great album. Uh, this is kind of a rarity. I never did stumble upon it again. Men Without Hats, Rhythm of Youth, with their one hit, <laughs> the safety dance, because we all know they were a one-hit wonder, but like, like pretty much like every one-hit wonder out there, they got other good songs in the album. It's just songs that people don't know about, you know, because they just know about safety dance. But uh, Living in China is a song I really enjoy. So yeah, this is from 82. Nazareth? Nazareth? No Mean City. Yeah, pretty cool album. Really, really love the artwork. It just looks kind of like, I don't know, like comic book style. Old school, yeah. Another one hit wonder right here. Flock of Seals. Flock of Seagulls. <laughs> um, yeah, another one hit wonder with I Ran. I Ran So Far Away. But again, there are, there are lots of other good songs on here. Telecommunication. Messages. No, it's really... Really cool. So that's my suggestion to y'all for for every one hit wonder band out there. Check out their other songs. You'll be you'll be pleasantly surprised. The police, Outlandos Damore. The police again, Zenyata Mandata. This is the one with uh, Don't Stand So Close to Me as the opening track. Really good album. Whoops. But this one here, Outlandos Damore is a great album as well it's got uh, what's that song with Roxanne obviously so lonely can't stand losing you but yeah I like the police good band the Smiths louder than bombs this is a two record set yeah kind of skips at one point during my my favorite song panic it skips but uh, I found it on CD. I got it on CD now, so I can listen to it in the car. That's what I, that's what I do with a lot of these uh, vinyls. If I really like the album, I'll, I'll get it on CD just so I can listen to it in the car. That's what I do with this one, actually. Van Halen, 1984. Again, great artwork. Oh, yeah, that one's got to flip it like this. Oh, uh, the cars. Self-titled, I believe. But I like this one, it has Moving in Stereo from the from Fast Times at Richmond High, which wasn't on the soundtrack to the movie, so it's a great song. It reminds a lot of people from the, uh, <laughs> it reminds a lot of people of, of the um, uh, Phoebe Kate's uh, pool scene, right? <laughs> uh, now the cars, again, shake it up. Big Pig, Bonk. This isn't a well-known well, a well band, but um, the reason why I bought this record was because it has a song, uh, where is it, I Can't Break Away, which is the the song during the opening credits of Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, a movie I really like, so I thought I'd get the album. I haven't really listened to it that much, so I don't remember how the other songs are, but that song is great. Are you ready for the king? Here he is, MJ the King, Michael Jackson, Music and Me. I believe, I may be mistaken, don't quote me on this, but I, I believe this was his first solo album without the Jackson 5. I do believe, I'm not 100% sure. Look at that. So young. Yeah. I like Michael Jackson, man. Had some good tunes. And top selling album. I believe this was the top selling album for a long time. Thriller. Uh, Another great fold-out cover. Yeah. Really like the Thriller album. Another one I have on CD, but uh, it's great to listen to it on vinyl just for nostalgic purposes. Uh, 
This is very sentimental to me. This record was uh, from the first time I went to the States in Atlanta to visit my sister years back. Uh, we went to a record store and uh, I was looking at this and I was like, oh, this is awesome, you know, Michael Jackson. So uh, she bought it for me and it's a really good memory of my sister. So, yeah. Great album, great memory. Off the Wall, uh, which was, I believe, the album before Thriller. This one folds open and continues. Yeah. Oh, great album here again. Joan Jett and the Black Hearts. I love rock and roll. Kind of looks like she autographed it, but she didn't. That's just the font of the, the album title. I love rock and roll. And there are the Black Hearts. Yeah. Again, I'm. I get kind of frustrated. Like the only Joan Jett song I ever hear on the radio is "I Love Rock and Roll," but she has so many good other songs. Like, there's pretty much. I like. There's ten songs in here, and I like them all. So they just. Again, you know, it's, some with artists, some songs deserve more recognition. Jay Giles Band, Reese Frame. Dun, 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 dun. Iggy Pop, Party. I like Iggy Pop. Got some good tunes. The Ramones, Road to Ruin, which is actually the only uh, Ramones album I have on vinyl. Oh, doesn't open. I have about maybe four of their albums on CD. This is the only one I ever did find on vinyl. I love the Ramones. I have since I was in my teen years. So. I remember listening to them in high school. <clears throat> Got some cheap trick in color and in black and white. Another fold out sleeve. Yeah. This is the album with uh, their hit, I Want You to Want Me. The non live version, the studio version. Often on the radio you'll hear the, the live version of I Want You to Want Me, but this has the. This is the album with a studio recorded version, which you don't hear very often. Uh, how about a little Bowie? This is my Bowie collection. Got quite a few pinups, and I really like this album. It's got some Bowie songs that aren't as well known, but uh, still great. When it was still rocking the Red Mullet. Uh, from 73, that one. Changes? Which it says Bowie's greatest hits, <laughs> but that's... He still had more hits to come after after this, because this is from 76, so it was just starting out <laughs> somewhat. Oh, Let's Dance from the 80s. 